Do you want to track outbound clicks inside of Google Analytics 4? Well, then I have good news for you because that data is already being collected inside of a default Google Analytics 4 setup. So it's very likely that you are already collecting that data right now. The only downside is that the data is hidden by default. So there are a couple of things you need to do to actually use the data. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how. Let's dive in. Welcome to the channel, my name is Leon. This channel exists to help you use your web stats to grow your website without spending hours in the process. I wanna thank everyone that has been liking my videos and has subscribed to the channel recently because that really helps me get these videos out to as many people as I can. As a way to say thank you, I have created a short cheat sheet on how you can grow the traffic that is coming to your website. So whether you have a new domain or you have an existing domain, if you want to grow the traffic that is coming to your website, just head over to the link in the video description to grab that cheat sheet for free. Also, if you like this video and wanna watch more, just head over to my profile because in the last year, I have created tons of videos on how to set up Google Analytics and how to use the data to grow your website. So today I'm gonna to show you how you can see the outbound clicks inside of GA4. And the first thing that I wanna show you is to check if the data is actually coming through. So let's head over to Google Analytics 4 and I'll show you how. So we're inside of Google Analytics 4. We're gonna go under reports. We're gonna check engagement and then events to look if the data is already being collected. And what we're looking for is this event. So the event that's called click. The name is a little bit confusing, but this event tracks the outbound clicks. So all the clicks that are going from your site to a different domain. If this is not there, there could be a couple of things happening. Either you don't have links that go to external domains. If that's the case, then you won't track them either. But if you do have links to different domains and you do not see it in the table, just head over to admin and go into your data stream and by the way, this screen changes all the time, but right now it is under data collection and modification. And then you go into data streams and then just open up your data stream and see here if under this little icon here, just check if outbound clicks measurement is checked on because that's really important. If this is switched off by somebody in your organization, it will not work either. All right, now that we've verified that the data is being collected, we need to make a report around it to make this data visible. There are two ways to go about this. You can make a regular report and you can make an exploration report. And in this video, I'm gonna show you both ways and we're gonna start with a regular report. So let's head over to the reports. The first thing that you wanna do is to create a collection that can contain all your custom reports. I've already made one in the previous video that's called custom reports, page load times. I will put a link in the video description to that video so you can see how I made that. For this video, I'm just gonna work from that. So I'm gonna use this custom report existing collection. I'm gonna edit it and just add a new topic to this. So I'm gonna say outbound clicks and I'm gonna hit apply. And for now, I'm gonna leave it empty because I still need to create the report. I'm gonna hit save and I'm gonna save the changes to to the current report. So now I'm gonna go back into the library and under reports, I want to create a new report and I want to create a detail report. Let's use a blank report. So the settings that I'm gonna use in this report are actually really simple. Under dimensions, I want to add a couple of dimensions. I want to add the link URL, there it is. I want to add the link text. I want to add the link ID. I want to add the link classes and I could add the link domain. These are all not super important. The top two, that's really what it is about. I'm just going to hit apply. And as a metrics, I want to add the amount of events. So event count is what it's called. And then I'm going to add the amount of users. Yeah, there you go. Now I'm going to hit apply. So I'm going to hit save. I'm going to say outbound clicks. Yeah, let's hit save. Yeah, let's go back and add this to our collection. So I'm gonna go into custom reports. I'm gonna edit my collection and I'm gonna look for the outbound clicks. I'm gonna add that to my topic here. I'm gonna hit save and I'm gonna save it to the current collection. If I'm going back now, I will see that in my left-hand column, there is a new topic that's called outbound clicks. I can open up that report here and I will see events coming in. The only thing that you need to do here, you need to filter down this report to just the clicks. And this will show you all the outbound clicks that are happening on your site. All right, as you can see, this report is a little bit polluted. There is a blank row at the top of all the events that do not have a link URL, but then you have also a lot of other events on my site. I have, for instance, the uh, some other clicks, so like button clicks and 
header and footer clicks that I've set up like custom, but you would also have a, a file download event that also has the link URL. So you always need to filter down this report to include just the click event. And even then I see some other like internal links in this report that do not have links. So this is kind of polluted. There are kind of two solutions to this problem. The first solution, I will put the link in the video description is to use a custom metric. Uh, where you store all outbound clicks that requires a little bit of setup and it is a little bit more advanced than what i want to do in this video but i will put a link in the video description and uh, there you will be able to clean up this report uh, like real nicely uh, the second solution is to make an exploration report and that's what i want to show you in the next section to make an exploration report we're going to go under explore and i'm going to open up a blank exploration report i'm going to call it outbound clicks and the first tab I'm gonna say outbound clicks. Under dimensions, I'm gonna choose the event name and I'm gonna look for link because under link, you have a couple of dimensions to choose from. I want the link URL, the link text. We could add the others as well, but they aren't really so relevant. So I'm gonna leave them out for now to keep it simple. I'm gonna import this and under metrics, I want to use the event count and I want to import the active users so this is just the total amount of users and then i'm gonna hit import so one thing that i like to do it's a little bit of a shortcut as rows i'm just going to include the event name and then as values i'm going to say event count and active users this will just generate a list of all the top events it's just the top 10 rows i'm going to make it a little bit more and here i'm going to look for the click event and on my side it's here on row 19 i'm going to right click and i'm going to say include only selection this is just a shortcut to make a filter event name exactly matches click. And now I'm going to remove the event name row here and I'm going to include the link URL instead. And this will just give a nice little table of all the outbound clicks on my site. All right, that's it for today. I hope this video was helpful. I hope it was clear. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. Also, if you want to watch more videos just like this, just head over to my profile. I've created tons of videos over the past year on how to set up Google Analytics and how to use it in order to grow your website. All right, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.